because several students have asked me, I just want to um, make a little video here to show you how to do something. So it is possible to, and quite frankly, advisable to have StatCrunch open while you're taking a test. Now, how can you do that? Well, you can have StatCrunch open. So what you can do is you can right click and open in a new tab or a new window. Um, and then it should be open here. And then when you go over to the test, let's see, quizzes and tests, um, I can have, I'm just going to click on an exam. That's fine. I'm ready to start. I'm going to get a zero on this test. So I have my, my test here and so on. Okay. And then I can have stat crunch in a different window. So I could go over here and type numbers. Um, into the different columns and then I could um, flip back and forth. Now that's kind of cumbersome. So what you could do is you could have here stat crunch in kind of a smaller window over to the side. Hold on. I've got this really big. So you just kind of get it to the point where you can see the edge. Move your cursor to the edge so that it's like a double sided arrow and then double click and drag it over. And then it's kind of smaller and then you can make it so that this is a little bit smaller. There you go. And then you can have them side by side like that. Okay. Um, another way to do it if you're, if you're kind of um, worried about your browser is you could have like, for example, I could have StatCrunch open in Firefox as a browser and then be taking the test in Google Chrome. Both of those, by the way, are free browsers and they're much better than um, Internet Explorer for most things. So um, if, if you want, you could have one of them open in Firefox, one of them open in Chrome then you won't have the, the fussing between them. Sometimes it gets a little temperamental if it's in the same browser. Um, another option um, would be to have a separate monitor. So you could have this on one monitor and this on another monitor. Okay, but it is totally advisable for you to have either StatCrunch or Excel. And oops, don't worry about that. Your Excel won't do that. It you should be using Excel for all your homework and all your tests. You should have it sitting here in a window on its own and the test over here and then you can click back and forth between the two, right? It's not a good move to have the test taking up the full page. Then you got to go down here and then click on Excel and then try to see what you're doing and, then, and so on. So I really recommend making it so that they're either side by side or have two different monitors. But you I can't say this enough. You need to be doing problems in Excel or StatCrunch or both. Matter of fact, both will be the case in chapters nine and beyond. Um, and, and in chapter three, there's something you, there's one thing finding quartiles in chapter three, you can't do it correctly in Excel. It's not possible. So you have to use StatCrunch. So have them both open while you take your homework your quizzes, your tests, all of the homework quizzes and tests should be taken in side-by-side -side windows like this. All right. I hope that helps. See ya.